Hello, today we're going to have a look at just a couple of stretches. So first things to remember about these stretches, we're holding them for a total of 40 seconds. So that's 40 seconds per stretch and the reason we're doing that is because stretches are uh, not as good if you hold them for less than 40 seconds but if you do them for more than 60 seconds you don't get any additional benefit. So we're aiming for around a 40 second hold per stretch. The other thing to remember about both of them is that we need to do them on a uh, uh, twice daily basis. So holding them for 40 seconds twice a day. So the first of the stretches that we're going to do is for the hip, uh, the hip adductors. So we've got several muscles that run down the inside of our thigh uh, which uh, adduct or stabilise our pelvis on our hip. So we want a uh, stance slightly more than shoulder width apart and you're trying to keep your torso completely upright. We're going to bend one knee, keeping the other leg straight, and if at this point you don't feel the stretch, try and swing your hips over the top. So you'll also notice that both of my feet are pointing straight forward at this point. So we're going to hold that for about 15 seconds as a stretch, then we're going to move the straight leg, the one we're feeling the stretch on, 45 degrees-ish around, and that moves the stretch just to a different part of the adductors. So we hold that for another 15 seconds. After we've done that, we're gonna move the front one round again, which then gets a different part of the um, hip adductors there. So basically, this is a groin stretch for the different muscles that are in your groin, um, and you're holding to the point of feeling the stretch rather than pain. Th things to know all the time here, you're trying to keep upwards, we don't want to be leaning back or forth, back or forward in there. All right. So the next stretch we're going to do is a calf stretch. So you'll be um, used to um, doing a sort of calf stretch where you push the push a wall, so you don't actually need the wall to do the stretch, you can do it just standing up. We want back leg straight, front leg bent, we're kind of lunging onto the front leg. Things to note with this one is we want both the feet pointing straight forwards. So common mistake people make is to have a foot outwards a little bit. So we want both feet forwards and then lunge forward onto it. So we should be feeling the stretch in the big muscle, the gastrocnemius there. We want hips pushed forward and knee nice and straight. So we're going to again hold that for 40 seconds. Then we're going to bring the foot closer to the other one, keeping them again both in line and then bend both knees. So that should move the stretch further down towards your heel and it will probably feel like a bit less of a stretch. So again, after you've held that for 40 seconds, that's the end of the calf stretches. So I hope that's been useful. Uh, it's uh, 